This is my vision being rendered into anime in real time at 14 frames a second. Running on 8 industrial NVIDIA H100 graphics cards, it's not pretty corded, and yes, it works on people. But it doesn't exist yet, so here's the plan. <coughs> After some analysis, anime GenV3 turned out to be the best model for this case. It showed good results in the research paper. GAN stands for Generative Adversarial Network, meaning two AI models fight each other. One creates fake anime, and the other one tries to spot the fake. They keep battling until the fake becomes undistinguishable from real anime art. Monkey Brain C Train Script. Monkey brain tight train. For some reason, I can't play Valorant on my PC because I didn't go with a GPT partition because I don't want AI in my motherboard, so I installed Linux for experimenting with AI. I quickly wrote a script that takes all the videos in a folder, processes it one frame a second, checks if the brightness is over 50%, if it's not blurred, and if it's not extremely similar to the last process frame. With that approach, I managed to get 43,000 frames from three different animes with consistent styling. But guns are picky as shit. This discriminator needs real photos to compare against the fake anime it's time to detect. I didn't have much luck through popular data sets most of the images were low quality but luckily i found a project called lorem pixum which gave you a random image for the given resolution i downloaded 10,000 of them cool side by the way i was missing portraits though so i found this data set from which i extracted 6300 images of people which was a good ratio of 4 to 1 now it's time to train the model okay this is crazy Gans have a big issue, they cannot recreate faces, so I just wasted one week of training when I could have just used a pre-trained model. Welcome to Stream Diffusion! A solution for real-time generation. Of course, I'm watching the Gonzo Yuan Li Shi Tu Xiang Tian Jia Zao Sheng, Ran Hao Gan Chu Ti Shi Tong Ji Yi, Wajja Shu Shi Xun Lian Shu Ju, Zhong Jiang Ti Zhong Jian. So, Rugo Wa Bachi Zhang Tu Jia Shang Zao Sheng, Zai Gao Su AI Yong Tong Man Bunga Zhong Jian, Tajo Hui Pian Zhong Jia. Pair that fucker up with Stream Diffusion, which does some spark burst and black magic, and we got 4 FPS on my 4070 Super. But most importantly, it can generate faces. But you'll notice this diffusion has the a ton more health effects compared to GAN. The first version was hallucinating anime girls everywhere. This is glorp shit. We got a little better afterwards and it started actually turning people into anime. And please do not try giving it 7 iteration steps because it bro, what is this? Bro? Looks like a whole anime intro or some shit. After 14 tests it got better so I finally got the chance to delete the fucking Linux piece of shit from my PC. Oh look it's a ball and I can pick it up. Oh Where's look we got bald wimpers. Oh look we got monster man. Oh look we got Sam Altman. Monster man. Monster man. Monster man. Monster man. Alright. Bro, this shit ass legit makes a noise. A fuzzing noise. And it's low key annoying because I can actually hear it. Fuck. So the reason we got Meta Quest 3 specifically is because we need something to stream what we see and display the process anime back. Meta added support for accessing one quest camera at a time three months ago. Oh lucky. They were kind enough to provide samples for Unity. So our pipeline is we have Unity for making the app that's running on the quest, which sends images of our right eye to a server which then applies the AI and returns it back to the quest. This makes it seem like we're seeing the world in anime. I set up a quick script to display what I see in the browser and it didn't work. There's an explicit setting that by default in a project that's supposed to show the capabilities of this quest headset turns the internet off. Bro! Anyway, there we are in the browser at 17 FPS. It's that slow because I'm in the wine country and the server is in the. <laughs> Since diffusion models take a ton of compute, we can't rely on one GPU to process 24 frames a second. So we have to <coughs> build with <coughs> concurrency in mind and write <coughs> stable software. <laughs> So after tweaking variables with monks in New York City, the server in shares the load is spread fairly across the available GPUs. To quickly test everything, I spin up a pod on RunPod, today's sponsor. Ladies and gents, I don't think anybody likes selling a kidney to train AI. And that's where RunPod comes in clutch. They let you rent the latest generation GPUs like B200, H200, H100, or consumer GPUs like 4090 and 5090. And they build you by the goddamn second, not the hour. Want an RTX 4090 for some light image generation? That's $0.35 per hour. Need to go bad shit with an H100, click a button. Need 8 of them, click a button. They also have this cool thing called serverless endpoints. You literally just upload your code and RunPod handles all the scaling bullshit automatically. Your app goes from 0 to 10 workers instantly thanks to RunPod's flash boot technology that boots the workers in under a second, and you only pay for when it's actually running. Deploy from GitHub in seconds. Browse their hub, find a pre built AI model, click deploy, and you're done. And if you need serious power, they've got instant clusters for up to 64 H100s with ridiculous networking speeds. Back when I had to process 16,000 images for training, I just spawn up pod and it worked. I didn't have to create the Python environment and fuck with dependencies and video login pages. Oh my god, why do you need an account to install CUDA, bro? Get started with the link in the description for 20% off your first credit purchase. A RunPod has never done a discount like this before. I genuinely cannot recommend RunPod enough. It was so easy to run experiments on. Go check it out and thanks to RunPod for sponsoring this video. So after reacting to planets, Pluto, 
That's a classic. I had to take a latency. We need super short round trip times, or you do take like one second before you actually see what's happening, and your brain starts noticing the disconnect between your hand movements and visual updates and make you feel dizzy and you get to the place for round 4 this was easy to solve. They have data centers all over the world. You literally just have to open a drop down, filter by country, and click deploy. I got a server in the Netherlands for my friend in Belgium with 8 NVIDIA H100. Crazy networking speeds too by the way, the joy of downloading a data set in minutes. Anyway, results time. Yo, for context we have about 1 hour and 30 minutes left. What is the name? Pass through camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't change anything, bro. I don't know Unity. Uh, yeah, switch anime mode. All right, just press down the camera viewer again. Ignore the fact that it's duplicating. Yeah, bro. Okay, it's failing. Oh yeah, I forgot to start the server. Uh, you can tell it's hallucinating uh, anime calls everywhere, by the way. <laughs> yes, I can tell. This is a message to the FBI who have been surveilling my household. I'm a normal person. I'm allowed to own firearms. I'm bro, my server is going absolutely crazy. I'm sending so many frames. Okay. Bro, it's it's trying to hide away the uh, the belly. No, he's arching up. It's so weird. Hey, what do I do to my phone if I put out the case? What the hell? Wait, hold up, let me. Why did you ask us two girls kissing or something? What the fuck? <laughs> this model is so schizo. I have this border on. Let me let me. No, it's... it doesn't let me. Meta, no. Yo, Patreon only clip. Yo. Yo, enemy fit. Bro, it turns into a fucking toe. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> that, that's a window. Yo. Over the years and recently, it's a woman. That looks kind of sick. Clear, it's... Okay, I need to find a good reel. Okay, what will I make of this kid? Hey, I mean, looks fine. Hey, that's decent. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, bro. It looks decent. Okay. Is that Pikachu? It should Pikachu over there. Wait, how will it react to 18 plus content? Oh, no. No, 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 no. We're not going to try that. No, no, no. <laughs> I want to see what the AI thinks of it. Oh, can't wait. And it's the end. But as we continue <laughs> oh. on, it's tempting. But homeboy should chase the robots in the unemployed. This front area oh, here. She's sitting on the desk. So, first of all, what made it big, huh? So, looks fine. Good afternoon and welcome the to the very here. first class. That's, That's a person. guy. <laughs> Later on in the in the term, Professor Eric Grimson, who's <laughs> sitting right down there. Filter on. The problem? Homeless people. Uh, my name is Schlatt, and a couple days ago, I asked you guys to give me a business pitch. This will upset you. One second. It's turning Inside Asian. this box. His mic is weird. <laughs> <laughs> it, turned, it turned in Chinese. <laughs> Sending him into a woman. It's gonna be a great show today, is what <laughs> I would Enemy say. It's, it's, it's turning the reflection, or like the color is so bad on the cameras. Maybe that's why. I'm also compressing the image so we get far higher frame rates. What, what does it do to games? What the for his murder? What quantity? What is the price upon his slave's head and his coward cries? Look, where does it get the enemy girls from? There's no one there. Uh, it crashed. <laughs> yeah, the server is done, bro. Right, cool. right. That's the phone, I guess. Yeah, it was fun while it lasted. Anyway, so that was the project. We have VR and AR, so I call this FR. It stands for For Real Reality, or Friends Reality, whichever goes with you. In case you are wondering why we got 14 FPS instead of like 60 FPS, it's because we actually got 60 FPS, but uh, we were limited by the networking, so yeah. Code is available for free on GitHub. Don't forget to try out RunPod with the link in the description. A big thanks to all of the Patreons and YouTube members for supporting the channel. Thanks for watching, and as always, see you in the next one.